kind of uh, big fix to behold. He scored twice at Munich earlier this season to get around the trade for Barcelona. He's not too good, just one in five for the Polish international. Jude Bellingham playing it into Vinicius Jr., who's away here. Good recovery tackle from Andreas Christensen. It's back to Rodrigo, and it's the last-ditch tackle from Sergio Roberto to deny him, but it's still Real Madrid with Vinicius Jr., who sees his shot in the bud by Carlo Ancelotti in yesterday's press conference. Tony Kroos. Second Classico for young Andre Lunin. It was the biggest and excellent pass from Trump. Many headed on by Koundé, but only as far as Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. has Bellingham in support. It's Jude Bellingham. It's blocked by Ronald Arauste. Including one in his own net as well as Bellingham sets away Vinny Jr. No offside for Vinicius. One on one. Vinny rounds Peña and Vinicius Jr. puts up Real Madrid. It's 1-0. And seven minutes into the final, and Vinicius Jr. beats the offside trap, assisted by Jude Bellingham. And it's a dream start for Carlo Ancelotti's men. And it's their number seven, Vinny Jr., who gets on the score sheet. And since returning, and Rodrigo is away yet again. He has Vinicius in the middle. It's 2 0 Real Madrid. Vinicius Jr. scoring again, not even 10 minutes played. And Barcelona are absolutely falling apart here. Vinicius Jr. bags a brace within 10 minutes, and it's 2-0 at Alouel Park. 2-0, Real Madrid. Well, what on earth? And now a back heel from Rodrigo to Bellingham, and Vinicius Jr. is away again, out on the left-hand side, one-on-one -on -one with Araujo. Bellingham making a run towards the back post. If Vinicius can find him, it's inside to Rodrigo. Rodrigo goes down. Dusky away from one, but Rudiger just barges him off the ball. Nothing doing, says the referee, and again, Real Madrid can break, although the pass a bit of a heavy touch. And Bellingham with a beautiful ball to look for Vinicius Araujo. Xavi calling Ancelotti one of the best managers of all time in the world. Ancelotti. Here's Jude Bellingham again to Vinicius. Beautiful feeds from Vinicius Jr. But again, it's Araujo, but this time Vinicius picks his pocket. Oh, it's out. No, it's out for a corner, actually. A yeah, good call, it is a corner. Well spotted from Martina. Drives out to Vinny Jr. And again, Ronaldo Rojo is on him like white on snow. Furlong Mendy. Bellingham and Rodrigo in the middle. Vinicius. Tremeni floats it in there. Vinicius goes down and a referee points to the penalty spot. It's a penalty. Alton booking. Ronald Araujo for bringing down Vinny Jr., who's on a hat-trick in the VAR room. We'll have a look at this. Not too much contact there from Araujo, but he does have his arm around Vinicius. Gives Vinicius a, uh, a reason to... And Vinicius Jr., Aaron Seydorf in attendance. He's won a couple of trophies with Real Madrid, the Dutchman. And he could see Vinicius... Substitute match. Vinicius lines it up. Vinicius slots it away. Brilliant finish. Tucks it into the bottom left corner. Vinicius Jr. has a first half hat trick. It's Real Madrid three, Barcelona one, and momentum swinging back to Los Blancos. His third goal on the evening. It's second Real Madrid hat trick. Vinicius Jr. with a statement performance here at pass into uh, Sergio Roberto, but Rudiger is right on him to cut it out. And now Jude Bellingham can break for Vinny Jr. in support, and he finds him. Vinicius Jr. has a hat trick already. Crosses it in, cleared by Frank Kidion. Inside the first 10 minutes, Robert Lewandowski found the back of the net to make it to. Roberto making a late run, but Lunen claiming it and setting away Vinicius Jr. straight away. Araujo's out of position, and Vinny Jr. advancing up the pitch. Vinny taking on Koundé, slipping over. Gets it back, does Vinicius Jr., but he uh, takes a little bit too long, and Frank...
33 goals in the 22-23 campaign for Barcelona. It's in all competitions. Vinny Jr. playing with Bellingham, good combination play. Wins it off Gundogan, and here come Real Madrid again with Vinicius Jr. Already has his hat-trick, gives it back to Bellingham, just a little bit too much. Cross between the lines, and he receives it there. Wins it a little bit behind Vinny Jr. There's in no hurry whatsoever. Nacho venturing forward to Vinicius. Mendy on his right. Rodrigo now makes the run. Vinicius is going to go alone. Vinicius Jr. blocked by Araujo. He keeps it in as well and puts it out for the throw in. Bellingham. Another flick behind the back from Jude Bellingham. Well, he couldn't slow down, really. Vinicius Jr. taking on Araujo once more. Vinicius. It's still Vinicius Jr. Alverde. It's Bellingham in the middle, plays it all the way across to Vinny Jr. Vinicius, Vinicius into the middle, there's Bellingham, here's Rodrigo, and it's 4-1 Real Madrid! Rodrigo Goes all but finishes matters at Alouel Park. Real Madrid 4, Barcelona 1, and this is starting to get ugly now. Fast, doesn't he, the way he rides those challenges effortlessly. Calm under pressure, shifting it out to Bellingham. Bellingham to Vinicius Jr. Against Barcelona. Rodrigo to Vinny. It's caught by Araujo. And this is going to be a booking for Ronald Araujo. And that is the second for Araujo. So his evening is over. Barcelona down to 10 men. Araujo conceded the penalty in the first half is booked for a second time tonight. So the captain's armband changes arms. Real Madrid just keep on purring, and now Vinicius Jr. is going to take on Koundé. Beats him for pace, does Vinicius. Has Rodrigo again in support. Vinicius takes his time to pick a pass, finds many. Six. That's uh, Andre Lunin again holding firm in that Real Madrid goal. He doesn't have a clean sheet, but he's made. Completes the last 10 on rising. Scored his seventh, eighth, and ninth goal of the season.